Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you DJI owners how you can make your footage look a lot better using the D-Log color profile and some color grading. In order to do this you'll need to be recording in D-Log on your DJI drone or Osmo or whatever DJI camera you're using. Alright, so I have my clip right here from the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, and I'll just play that for you now. You'll notice that there's this sort of haze to the image when you use the D-Log profile. That's completely normal and that's actually how the camera is able to capture more detail in both the shadows and the highlights. Alright, so now we're going to do some color correction. So this is Final Cut Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do in Final Cut is open up my effects tab. And I'll go to uh, this Pixel Film Studios LUT loader. That stands for lookup table. Um, I'll include a link in the description to that, and I'll just drag it on top of my clip. So now we can see here in our inspector we have the uh, plugin, and so what I'll do now is I'll choose the external LUT. So now I have the .cube file for the D-Log color profile. I'll, there's a link in the description to that too, and I'll click open. So if I check it and uncheck it, you can see some minor changes, um, but that's really all we need. And so now I can bump up the saturation, just like that if I wanted to. Uh, maybe decrease the gamma a little bit and increase the brightness. So what the LUT loader allows you to do is easily color grade um, footage that, for example, was shot on the DJI Phantom with the D-Log profile. And so I think that looks pretty good for a quick edit. And now I'll play for you the final result. It's difficult to do this kind of editing when you use a log profile and just do the editing using the color corrector in Final Cut. Because of the way the log profile works, it can be done, but it's a lot more work uh, than just using the cube file and the LUT loader that I have linked in the description below. And you can see how quickly I was able to make some really uh, nice changes and make the footage look a whole lot better. You can choose the normal profile and make your footage look pretty good but if you want to go that uh, extra mile and make it look a lot more professional um, this is one way to do it it takes some practice but in the end uh, the results do pay off so here's some examples with the original footage on the left and the color graded footage on the right and you can see how uh, this can make a big difference so it produces some vivid colors some high dynamic range footage and it looks really cool